fewer than three percent of all people in most of our countries were using cell phones but you fast forward to today when almost one hundred percent of people using cell phones by the time they're nineteen or twenty years old they will have used the phone for ten years and we have no idea what type of risk that's carrying we've immersed ourselves in an ocean of electromagnetic radiation. It's all around us now. Invisible, we can't see it, but we know it's there. Every time you lift up your mobile phone, you know it's there. The people who do the work on mobile phones are, by and large, engineers. They have no idea what is going on inside the living cell, but they are pontificating. They make the assumption that the only thing that can affect um, the well-being of a living organism is if it is powerful enough to heat. Even though the radio frequencies that are emitted from current cell phone technologies are very weak, they are able to activate the human brain to have an effect. At present, the World Health Organization statements regarding this are that it is real. We just, we just don't fully understand yet what we're doing. Autism, brain tumours, cancer, and many other diseases are being uh, connected by studies, by scientific studies, with exposure to, bio, to electromagnetic fields and radiations. Most of the cancers which will arrive haven't arrived yet. People haven't been using cell phones for long enough. The effects are largely long term and we have, as you say, this ubiquitous exposure. It's not just the, the, the canary down the mine like myself. Eventually, if you, if you simply increase the electromagnetic fields in the, in the atmosphere, which we're doing, eventually it'll start to affect you.